let's state the facts. Things are not looking good for Blues. They're really not. They did seem to be a bit of a revival. I mean, you know, the Cardiff game and stuff, and uh, just all gone to all gone to pop completely. We'll talk about your experience at the Brentford match. Um, enjoyed my walk to the ground. It was very, very good catching up with a lot of familiar faces. We had a nice meal, didn't we? we? Did yeah. Um, but on the pitch, just you know, of course, you know, there were little moments where okay, it could have been a little bit different, but we did not play with any with any oomph, you know what I mean? Any home tenacity or anything like that. And it was just a matter of time before Brentford, who I thought kept it very cool, they ended up getting in front and, you know, to lose against them at Especially home. having bought three of their players. Yeah. And of course, it goes from bad to worse. Yeah. Brentford was bad, but Barnsley. Yeah. Well, that, that was just a complete... It's just now to the point where we're now genuinely expecting to lose every game and I don't think there's many times I've said that even under even under Lee Clark even under Zola you know you thought that something would turn eventually but this really looks looks like we're going to struggle to win games do you want to move yeah go on then what do you think about the fans turning on the players it needs to happen at the end of the day this is people's lives all we ask is effort from the players I'm sort of lost for words in a way because it's just we've all gone into work feeling sick before we've all gone into work unenthusiastic and we've somehow managed to just give everything for a shift and then sometimes that might be for minimum wage I don't want to sound all cliche like one of these people who complains about footballers but genuinely the money that they are on it just takes 90 minutes of just trying hard. Once you do that, win, lose or draw, we won't have a problem with it. There's never been at any other point in, in football history such a, a divide and a distance between players and fans. There's the ground, obviously. I know. It's just... Uh, what is it, mixed emotions for you? It is because obviously I've been waiting so long to go back. Five years? Yeah. And then just things haven't really... Things haven't really worked out in the, in the way that I planned. Um, I we had visions, really, didn't we, of a dramatic win? Everything rosy. And probably me in tears, you know, in tears of joy. Yeah, and good tears. Yeah. Look at that train just stood there. Is that train actually going to move? Okay, well, there's one coming in. It's not going to crash, is it? No, it's going to go to uh, Kidderminster or Stourbridge or possibly Worcester. We're in November, for fuck's sake. What's the problem? The Christmas lights again. It's like um, every year, it's the same bloody thing. You don't like them? No, I don't like Christmas. What about the German market? Absolutely hate that. It's not even German anyway. One of the real feel-good you know, moments for me in the year comes normally in around about early January when all the bullshit of Christmas is over and typically I'll be walking through there in the daytime and I walk from the bull all the way up to where the library used to be and it's, you, you just think wow I can actually walk are we going to have our photo by the bull today? we can do but I'm kind of peckish though Dave what are you thinking? well I've never eaten in that place but you know, five guys yeah do you want to try it? I think I do. What are they serving there? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. It's decent. It's one of those places that's more popular than it should be. And it's a bit overpriced. But you'll get a good burger in there. It's been a while since I've had a good burger. You want a good burger? Yeah, the last time I had a good burger was in an airport. I'm not going to say which one, but I've had a bit of a, a, bit of a rebate this morning anyway, so... You want to give it a go? Yeah, if, you know. How big are the little fries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Good job, my money. Yeah. Is this? Oh, fuck it. That's it. Taking a one. Yeah, get me some ketchup. Any good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> your first Five Guys burger. I like it. That's you like it a lot, don't you? Yeah. What do you reckon then so far? Score out of ten. Eight. I've had to have a do with that one. You really like it here, don't you? Yeah. This is, uh, you know, however bad blues are doing, there's some good things in life. You got it. Round two. We've had an international break now. What do you think the chances are of this team coming together, putting behind them whatever's gone wrong, and saying, look, okay, it's drastic times. Okay. Let's do something about it. I'd say very, very small chance, but almost none. Okay, so you haven't got much faith in the squad? No, not at all, no. What about Steve Cottrell as the manager? He's all right, he's just, I, I feel for him. I feel sorry for him. that positivity of a burger, well, two burgers, back of these fucking Christmas lights, what a load of shite. Do you think there's something to the idea that there's a divide in the squad? That you've got yeah, it does groups seem of that. players turning on each other? Harley Dean said it in the interview that there's, there's players talking behind each other's backs. Oh no. It's like just people just bickering in a workplace, isn't it? You know what I mean? It goes on all the time. There's this idea that because there's players in there now, who are on a lot more money than the leftovers from the Rowett days. Mm. There's a bit of jealousy. Say if you're a player that's on a, you know, a pathetic wage, like 5,000 a week or something like that, and you're jealous of the man on 20,000 a week, what can you do as a footballer? You can play well, can't you? You can increase your stock. Obviously this wouldn't happen, but let's say we were in a traditional workplace mm. and we were on minimum wage they brought people in and put them on a wage three times ours and they did the same job as us, yeah, or even worse. All right, I wouldn't hate the, the guys themselves though, I'd hate the management. Yeah. Okay, but would that hate towards the management just lead to a general malaise where you're not performing like you can? That's true, but then the, those guys who were on the three times as much, they'd perform. What's the excuse at Blues where it just doesn't seem as if anyone is? Whether, whether well, I suppose right? that's why the fans were singing, what a waste of money. Yeah. You're seeing people now turning on Sam Gallagher. Do you know how much we're paying a week for him? Go on. With the wage and the loan fee? Go on. 43 grand a week. Oh, 43 grand a week for a guy. But let's be honest, he's not offering us anything at the moment that Jukovic can't offer. Certainly. How do you feel about that? Just the same as with all, it's all just a crock of shit and it needs sorting out. I don't know who, I don't know how though. I don't know how it's going to be sorted out. There seems to be a very it's like a bit of a cancer, you know, you know, not to sort of use that word, but something very, very bad within the club right now. It's been there for a while, it's been there for a while, and it's hard to see how it's going to improve. It's also like the minor things that are pissing me off because of this negativity as well. LeBron James, for example. Oh, God. Just, uh, you're a good player and everything, but keep your fucking mouth shut about Dennis Smith and the Knicks, man. And of course, our next match, Forest at home. You've said that you respect Forest as a club. I do. You like their fans? Yeah. What are we going to do against them? We're going to lose 1-0. Oh, God, don't say that. Yep. You really believe that? I really believe we're going to lose 1-0. Don't hey. you think this is the kind of time where Blues, we do the unexpected and we're going to go in there and get a result? In the past, I'd say so, but there's been a lot of times over the last year or so where I've been saying, OK, this is going to be the week. It it gets right, this is where Blues will typically, and it hasn't happened, so. And of course we go from Forest to Middlesbrough away. Yeah, tough place. That might be where we actually could get a draw. More likely I think we get something out of the Middlesbrough game. Do you think the pressure's going to be on us at home? That's what the problem is, it's the poisonous atmosphere, whereas away it's a bit different, it tends to be that fans are a bit more happy-go-lucky. And... When you came out of that Brentford game, yeah. did you say to yourself, you know what, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Well, yeah, that's why it's a good for a shit. I mean, with the club okay. and everything. Um, well, yeah, that as well. Yeah. But then, when it gets better, I don't know. It's just amazing, though. Just casting my mind back to the 90s and the early noughties, when Wolves kept on 
you know, not quite getting promoted, not quite reaching the playoffs. And I used to listen to their fans all the time. They're like, next year, next year. But that's next year for promotion. We keep on now having to say next year to sort of get away from this relegation. Next year stability. Stuff. Yeah. How bad it's got. This is, is the thing that worries me. Obviously, we've had now two of the closest shaves you could possibly have. Yeah. We, we scraped it at Bolton. We kept saying, let's never do this again. We scraped it at Bristol City. Yeah. Who have we got last game this year? I think it's Fulham at home. And you know what? That's not good. No, we never, never do well against them. If we're going into that game needing a result, let's be honest, we're going down. Yes. Correct. We cannot go into the final couple of weeks still in danger. Because in this case, I think it could be a third time unlucky for us. What do you think about that? Yeah, I do, because I mean, we were saved at Bolton by a miracle. We were saved at Bristol City by actually a very, very spirited performance. But this time, maybe we won't get so, so fortunate. But I'm not going to get too negative, because those burgers at Five Guys were just absolutely terrific. Yeah, well. but you were saying off camera the thing about the Eagles fans. Yeah, if you're watching this, any you know, Philadelphia Eagles fans, you think that you're going to go to the MetLife Stadium when you're playing at the Giants and take over. Give over. Fuck that. Which one we're getting? Six. What do you reckon? Another, another don't be stupid, guys. don't be come stupid. <laughs> We've got to get the train. Yeah, come on. Quick one before we do board the train, and this goes out to all the, uh, the people watching as well. If there's one change you could make to the side, just one, what would it be? What's the most important thing that you want to see change about that starting 11? All right, we need, sorry to say this, but Gallagher's got to go. You want to take him out yeah, the firing we line? To, we need to pack the midfield a bit more. I think that's that's a crucial thing. Get Gardner back in there, if anything. Oh, there's a lot of people what, saying that. Tell you what, Jason Lowe, what happened to him? Your mate, Jason Lowe? Yeah, man, really, really nice bloke. Can we just say, him. you were the first Blues fan that he met once he signed for the yeah, club. That's absolutely right. You well, want to see him back in there? Yeah, I do, I do. Let's give him a shot. Well, whatever happens, let's hope for the best. There you go, man. Have and as always, yeah. keep right on. Keep right on, yeah, let's go.